So I'll be breaking down my locks to win UFC Fight Night Dawson vs. Green. So starting off with my first lock to win, we got the Giga Chat himself. We have Drew Dober in his fight against Ricky Glenn. Now I know a lot of people are worried about this pick, obviously, because uh, you know Drew Dober is fighting a white guy. And you know, his current run he hasn't been doing he doesn't really do the best when he fights white opponents. So that is a bit worrying here, but I'm gonna be going with Drew Dober. I think he will get this one done. Ricky Glenn looked uh, geriatric and old as fuck in his last fight. Even knowing Drew Dober is actually older than him, Ricky Glenn looks horrible against Christos Gargios. I, I just can't trust him after that fight. He looks slow. He did like it's like he just it's like he aged thirty years after his last fight. It was really weird to see from Ricky Glenn. He had a really good performance against Grant Dawson, almost getting him out of there and got a ten eight in the third. And then for him to literally like be so slow, so stiff, just not not look good at all was really worrying to see there. So yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be taking Drew Dober here. I think he'll knock him out as well. You know, Ricky Glenn got chinned pretty badly, knocked out. You know, his durability is not gonna do the best. I know Drew Dober technically, you know, he got TKO'd, but he wasn't knocked out cold against uh, Matt Favola, he was rocked, but it wasn't like a flush KO out cold. It was more of a, he got dropped and then TKO'd, but arguably the fight could have kept going a little bit, but I'd, you know, he probably would have eventually got finished, but, you know, D Dober is tough, he can be dropped and come back, so, yeah, a bit of a, not an early stoppage, but, you know, he took less damage than Ricky Glenn did against uh, Gargius, you know. He against Christos, he actually was like knocked out, so I can see Drew Dober replicating that and getting a knockout and uh, knocking Christos out cold. But it is worrying because if you look at his record, the last time Drew Dober has beat a white opponent was Josh Berkman back in 2017. It's been a while since uh, since he's beat a white guy, so yeah, that's something to uh, keep your eye on. You know, there's, there's Alexander Gustafson of us black opponents where he loses to every black opponent except for uh, G Jimmy Manoa, and for Drew Dober, it's Drew Dober versus white opponents. You know, that's his kryptonite. It seems like because yeah, literally lost to Matt Favola, lost to Brad Riddell. Islam Makachev, if you want to count him. Uh, then, yeah, then it, then it was Josh Berkman in 2017. So, yeah, that is actually crazy. The memes are actually, like, very realistic here. Like, the meme potential if Drew Dober loses, is, loses this is crazy, but I can't see him losing to Ricky Glenn. Surely not. Like, Ricky Glenn looked horrible his last fight. But anyway, moving on to my second lock to win, we have... Uh, be like Joe Pfeiffer. You gotta be like this kid. So yeah, we got Joe Pfeiffer here. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna really like. I think this fight is his to win. Like anywhere he wants. I think he can knock out Razak Al Hassan. I think he can grapple fuck Razak Al Hassan. I think he can take Al Hassan to a decision. I feel like the only way for uh, Razak to win this fight is first round KO. And if he doesn't get that first round KO. Then I think I think Pyth has got this one done. Better cardio. He's powerful. He's longer. He's younger. I just he's got so many advantages in this fight. Like I just I can't see him losing this. I think he's gonna get this one done. I'm pretty confident on this one as well. So yeah, I got Joe Pyth for getting this one done. And it'll be interesting to see who he fights next. Because he said he doesn't want ranked opponents yet. So, yeah, generally, it'll be very interesting to see who they get Joe Pye for next, but I think he's going to KO Al Hassan, probably in the second round. I think he, I think Al Hassan will slow down a bit after throwing some big bombs and probably eating a few shots in the first. And I think as he slows down, I think Pye is going to catch him and KO him. So, yeah, that's how I got this fight going. But it should be a fun fight. This, I'm probably more, I'm more excited for the co-main event than I am actually Grant Dawson versus Bobby Green, if I'm being honest. But yeah, it should be a good card.
But yeah, these are just my locks to win. Obviously, these guys are favourites. They're not, you know, my, when I say locks, I'm not picking underdog locks or anything. These are just the fighters. I'm, I'm almost guaranteeing like 99% chance of victory. I, I'm very confident in these two. So yeah, I guess we'll find out tomorrow how accurate we go. But you know, I'm pretty good with my lock streak. Only ever one lost. Only ever lost one lock. And that was because I did three locks instead of two. So I learned my lesson there. But yeah, if you've made it this far, make sure you give this video a like. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you agree with my locks. And subscribe if you ain't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.